South Africa's ambassador to the Netherlands, like all South Africans of his generation, grew up under apartheid. He knows how it works. We as South Africans sense, see, hear and feel to our core the inhumane discriminatory policies and practices of the Israeli regime as an even more extreme form of the apartheid that was institutionalized against black people in my country. South Africa is one of 49 states arguing at the World Court that Israel's occupation of the Palestinian territories is illegal. Only the United States and Fiji will later argue that it isn't. Saudi Arabia, which before October the 7th looks set to establish diplomatic relations with Israel, highlighted what it says is Israel's intensifying colonization of the West Bank. At the senior levels of the Israeli government, calls are openly made to forcibly transfer or ethnically cleanse Palestinians out of their homeland, expand settlements even further, annex further areas of the West Bank, and at all costs to reject the notion of establishing a Palestinian state along the lines of the two-state solutions. These hearings have been planned for more than a year. They've attracted new focus because of the bloodshed in Gaza and the separate genocide case against Israel that this court is considering. A thread running through the submissions is a focus on Israel's encouragement and expansion of settlements, the toleration of settler violence and apartheid-like restrictions on Palestinians in the West Bank and East Jerusalem. That's all illegal under international law and it's why it's being argued here that Israel's occupation should be declared illegal. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, The Hague. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.